Hi, I'm Quinn from Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. November is Picture Book Month, and to celebrate, staff from across the province have made recommendations of picture books that they think that every adult should read. I've always been a fan of children's picture books, and I never thought that they were just for kids. I've often appreciated the humor that's included in children's picture books, as well as the simple yet sophisticated lessons that these books often teach us. So, if you are missing picture books in your life, I suggest next time you're at your public library or bookstore, you take a little browse around the kids' book section. Or, better yet, you can start off with some of these recommendations. A picture book that I think every adult should read is Stella Luna, written and illustrated by Janelle Cannon. The story follows a young bat who is separated from her family and raised by birds. This is one of my favorite books that I read growing up, and it's part of the reason that I love bats to this day. Stella Luna talks a lot about identity and how we're influenced by our environment. Figuring out one's identity is an important lifelong process, so I think that children and adults can really appreciate the messages provided in this book. I think every adult should read The Rabbit Listened by Corey Dowerfield. The Rabbit Listened is about a child named Taylor who built a tower that falls down. And a lot of animals have a lot of suggestions for how Taylor should deal with those feelings. But in the end, it's the rabbit who really helps, just by listening. And I think that's a really important lesson that we can learn even as adults. That sometimes when a friend has a problem, it's not our job to fix that problem. Sometimes it's enough just to be there and to listen. Hi there everyone, my name is Tracy and I work with the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. You might recognize me from the AC Hunter Children's Library in St. John's. Today I'd like to share with you one children's book that I feel every adult should read. It's not a new book and in fact I'm sure you already know it. It is called The Giving Tree, written and illustrated by Shel Silverstein. This book is about the relationship between a tree and a young boy. It gives us beautiful examples of giving and receiving love. What I love about this book is as an adult, it reminds us that even the simplest things can bring us happiness. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you can contact your local library and check out your copy today. Hi everyone, my name is Jen and I work at the AC Hunter Children's Library. And I'm not sure if you know, but November is Picture Book Month and I thought I'd share with you uh, a picture book that I think every adult should read. And so my pick is Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. And I first actually read this book as an adult. A dear friend of mine gifted it to me as I was moving to a new place and starting a new adventure. And no matter what your age, I feel uh, if you're starting something new and feeling a little bit unsure, this is a great book to read because it encourages you uh, to not give up and to keep on keeping on. Uh, no doubt that 2020 has thrown a lot of curveballs at many of us. Uh, so the message of this book, to just keep believing in yourself and to pursue your dreams, is especially relevant today. Uh, so whether you're moving across the world or starting a new job or going back to school, well, The Places You'll Go is a wonderful book of affirmation. Enjoy. The picture book that I think every adult should read is Ida Always by Karen Lewis and illustrated by Charles Santoso. First off, the illustrations in this heartfelt book are beautiful. Even if you don't read the book, the illustrations are worth taking a look at. This book begins highlighting the special relationship between two polar bears at a local zoo, Gus and Ida. Soon Ida falls sick. And then the rest of the book shows how Gus cares for Ida as she's ill. And then eventually the grieving process that Gus goes through when Ida passes. I believe Ida always is a book that every adult should read because it so beautifully illustrates the grieving process. And it also serves to remind the reader that when we lose someone special to us, they're with us, always. 
The Remember Balloons by Jesse Oliveros, illustrated by Dana Wolfacott, is my favorite picture book. It's about a young boy named James and his grandpa. Grandpa has the best memories and he keeps them all balloons that he carries with him everywhere he goes. But soon the balloons start to float away and James doesn't understand why. It's up to James to try to catch the balloons and bring them back to Grandpa. But the more he tries, the more he realizes that maybe he's not meant to catch them after all. Maybe he's meant to hold his own balloons. This is a beautiful, sensitive story that gently explains memory loss associated with aging and, dis and diseases such as Alzheimer's. Everyone should read this book. It's one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. I'm recommending Ping by Ani Castillo. Everyone should read Ping because it uses adorable illustrations and the language of ping pong to explain how we interact with the world. We can only send out a ping. It's up to others to pong back to us. We cannot control how others will pong, so we must be careful with how we ping. And that is a message that everyone needs to hear, no matter how long they have lived on this earth.